701, if you have a pet, you probably have a vet who's going to help you get your animal <laughs> nice and healthy, at least get them some checkups. Right, but do you know what a vet technician is? Jessica Bohr is the president of the North Dakota Vet Veterinary Technician Association. Thanks for being here, Jessica. Absolutely, thanks for having me. So Jessica, before we get into anything, who did you bring today? This is Kirby. Um, Kirby is my personal dog. Um, we adopted him about two months ago from For Bell's Sake Rescue, kind of up by Minot in Sawyer, North Dakota. He's nice. adorable. We've had the For Bell's Sake on quite a few times. Welcome to the show as well, Kirby. Okay, <laughs> he's not talking about <laughs> uh, So what is the difference between a veterinarian and a vet technician? So the veterinarian is the doctor. Um, they're going to be diagnosing, they're going to be prescribing, um, they're going to be performing surgeries. A veterinary technician, um, a lot of people will call us the nurse of the veterinary profession, um, which is accurate. However, we do a lot of additional duties besides nursing care. Um, we're taking the x-rays, we're collecting lab samples, drawing blood, um, looking at samples under the microscope, um, administering anesthesia, monitoring anesthesia, we're assisting the surgeon if necessary, um, all the medical care. Um, in addition to that, we're also answering patient questions. Um, any questions the client might have about their patient, um, we might be going over treatment plans. Um, in addition to all of that care, um, a lot of vet techs will get into management, um, doing inventory for the clinic, social media, um, and that's just things vet techs do inside the vet clinic. Um, there's a lot of things outside the vet clinic that technicians do as well. Wow. wow. So you, pretty much all of it. You do everything. Yeah. yeah. You do a <laughs> <Fair> lot. <enough. laughs> I call them the jack of all trades of the veterinary profession. Yes, so you can, can, I can see you wear many, many different hats. So I do want to ask, um, you know, what kind of animals do vet technicians work with? So veterinary technicians can work with anything basically that's not a human, I would say. Um, so they kind of categorize um, animals into, so small animal would be dogs and cats, um, very common for us to work with. Um, then there's large animals, which would basically be any type of farm animal, um, horses, cows, sheep, pigs, goats, um, chickens, anything like that. Um, then there's exotics, so that would be reptiles, snakes, lizards, um, guinea pigs, um, anything like that, birds, um, so those are exotics. And then there's, um, you know, you could work in an aquarium or a zoo, um, and there's a lot of different types of animals in, in aquariums and zoos, so um, basically anything that's not a person. So what's the strangest animal you've ever worked on? Um, I have done a little bit of help with the Dakota Zoo, um, so I have uh, worked, helped with a surgery on one of their lemurs there, um, and occasionally when the circus comes around, sometimes they'll ask for some help, um, so I've seen some interesting things with the circus as well. Wow, I bet. And Jessica, I know a lot of medical professionals have experienced compassion fatigue uh, during the last year and a half, so how do you think... Uh, that's challenged veterinarian technicians specifically in North Dakota. Yeah, so um, compassion fatigue is a big thing I would say in any medical profession. Um, the veterinary profession we see a lot of it um, because we do have to give a lot of our time not only during the day um, but especially in rural areas in North Dakota and Bismarck we don't have an emergency clinic so um, your same staff that's covering the daytime is also covering the nighttime so that veterinarians worked all day and now they're on call at night taking care of emergencies. Um, so it is a 24-7 job um, and during COVID, a lot of people got new pets. Um, so we're seeing more pets in the clinic. People are spending more time at home, which means they're noticing more things going on with their pet. Um, and they're bringing them in for more care. So um, it's just, you know, sometimes we get overwhelmed. Um, and during COVID, I think a lot of people have been stressed, um, which maybe makes them not as nice when they come into the vet mm -hmm. clinic. Uh, so that's just some additional stress on the staff. Uh, well, first of all, thank you for all that you do because you wear many hats and you do a lot. Um, so we, we asked for ways that maybe pet owners can make a veterinary, vet, veterinary technician's job Stuff easier. One. So um, one of your tips is to play with your pet's feet. So uh, can you go through maybe a couple more tips to make your job easier? Yeah, so um, some things you can do like playing with their feet, um, playing with their ears, so just gentle rubs on their ears, mm -hmm. lifting up their lips. Um, those are all things that we are gonna do when they come in for an exam. And if they're already comfortable with you doing that, it might be less surprising for them um, when they come in 
for us to do it. So, um, and if you like your pet's nails trimmed, touching their feet is very helpful to us. Yeah. Um, sure. Other things you can do, this is a big one, get your pet advice from your veterinarian, not the internet. Um, the internet can be a good place, however, you want to make sure you're getting accurate information, well-researched information. Um, veterinarians and veterinary technicians are required to get continuing education credits. Um, so we are going to have the most up-to-date information for you and the best researched information. Sure. Um, so yeah, we just want to make sure your pet stays healthy. Nice. Um, a, lot of, a lot of great information, Jessica. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for being here. We really do appreciate it. To learn more about the North Dakota Veterinary Technician Association, check them out on Facebook at ndvta.org or send an email to the NDVTA secretary, uh, I'm sorry, NDVTA secretary17 at gmail.com. That's right. And coming up next, we have a special treat for the fans of our show, a behind-the-scenes look at some of the men of Studio 701 <laughs> preparing for, for a pretty scruffy month. And Jeff lets us know what's happening in the local real estate market. That's next. <laughs> 